a, a dentist office, and he's also an innovative entrepreneur. Um, after interviewing him, I found it most interesting that at the same time we were giving presentations on our 10 faces um, assignments, and it was interesting to see all the different parts that he really does have 10 faces instead of just one and an innovator. Um, the way he got his start, I'd probably say, is that he invented or helped to invent the spinning toothbrush, electric power spin brush, and um, I, um, his story is what I am going to present today. Um, the first bit of him getting his start with this product was that he played the anthropologist role that just having his patients come in, he saw they weren't brushing well, and thought, hey, if I can make this more fun or easier for them, maybe they would brush more and my job would be easier. So he <laughs> went through some experiments and asked his patients about different things, why they didn't brush, and especially kids, of course, he found didn't like to brush their teeth a lot. So he was walking through a movie store one day, a Hollywood video or Blockbuster, and he saw, I don't know if you guys remember them, but they were like lollipops that were on these plastic things. You press a button and it would spin it for you. It would do all the work for you. All you had to do was stick out your tongue and have, <laughs> have your candy. So he thought, you know, this would be really cool if I could get this to work for a toothbrush just as far as effortless for them. <clears throat> he did, however, run into some issues with, um, he didn't really know about the different kinds of plastics and production process that would need to do this because he just went to school to be a dentist. He didn't go to school for all this other stuff. And he was, at this point, working alone. Um, so he decided to get together with another dentist and come up with some new ideas. And they got also a team of attorneys and plastic moldy manufacturers. Just having connections is what really helped make this product become a reality. Um, because he was the one that really came up with this idea, he played the role of the director or the blue hat role that he, he was the one that organized everybody and wanted everything a certain way. So, but even though um, he kind of got screwed over because um, his partner during the patent process eventually took the idea and patented it. So his name is more on the actual final product. He actually, his partner that took idea, patented it, and sold it to Procter & Gamble for like $400 million or something. So he's sitting pretty somewhere. But this guy, he, my Dr. Mark Pratt always kept a positive attitude, even though there were some roadblocks and some upsets that he went through. <clears throat> I found it interesting, unlike at IDEO, where there's kind of just mass chaos to um, do creativity, he worked in a really quiet place, like an office or a, an artist studio, instead of really loud and kind of crazy place. Um, as I was doing the interview, I kind of got a bonus. Um, he told me this story about this Oakland A's toothbrush that um, he invented. It's shaped, here I can actually, shaped like a, from the side, it's shaped like a, a ball bat. And on the back it has a player's stats and then tips for a better batting record, tips for a better dental checkup because he wanted for kids to make it interesting and fun for them. And he thought, what better than have baseballs and think that they're hitting a home run every time they brush their teeth. <laughs> so I don't know how well it did, but I thought it was a really interesting story. And he gave me the toothbrush and everything. And I just thought it was really cool. And uh, he was also a caregiver. Of course, being a dentist makes you him an ultimate caregiver because, I mean, they take care of some of the most important, one of the most important parts of us. So. So found interesting lessons I learned from him. Even though he was not typically successful, he considers himself a successful innovator because he got his product to where it's a, everyone knows what the spin brush is. He considers himself a success. His lessons learned were that you should give up if there's something you really believe in. You have to know the industry, and you have to know the legal part of it, which I think, well, that was one of his biggest regrets, was not knowing enough about that. Um, don't be afraid to think outside the box, at, because he, gets, he got his idea from something completely unrelated to what he was hoping. And then if anything else, walk away from an experience with more knowledge than you started with. And he's working on an invention now that he's not going to make the with. 
with getting messed up with somebody who's going to take his idea. And I, a little quote from him was that innovators aren't born, and it's a process you grow through. I thought was interesting and to the whole concept of this class that innovation can be taught. And if we have time, I have a little video on how he got his idea for, oh, that's not the right thing. That's not either. OK. All right. This is, I am interviewing Dr. Mark Price um, as my innovator uh -oh. for my entrepreneurship project for honors. And I'm going to ask him a few questions about how he got his start. And helps, helps change the idea. And uh, or, or when you're inventing a new product, I think there's a lot of room for uh, significance. To be demanded. This no, is a good question. Hi, so you knew it would be demanded. Yeah. I missed that part. The main reason I wanted to do this was that to make a long story short, and doctor, people have to brush their teeth when you say at least twice a day, and I don't really do it. it. Most people don't do it long enough or take it that seriously. So if I get an electric toothbrush, uh, it made it more fun for a lot of young people to do it and uh, easier for. Hand holding it and dexterity for people to get their hands in their mouth. So, it would, what I did was to take an expensive electric toothbrush and uh, make it about a fifth of the price and uh, put different products on it to make it for more people. And they were found in studies to use it more, which helped better. Okay. Um, when you were working on uh, the toothbrush and the thing, at about how long would you say it took for a big looking moment that you finally figured out? Product. Uh, I guess every case is different in that uh, when you finally find something that uh, the light bulb so to speak is off on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had the idea that I wanted to make a less expensive toothbrush, like we said before. And then uh, it was actually an epiphany moment, though, that just came like within 10 minutes. I, I was walking through a store mm -hmm. and saw another item that used a similar mechanism that I adapted to the toothbrush. So oh. I kind of innovated the product of it from an existing product. Okay, very cool. Okay. Sorry, well, yeah, just randomly I thought it was really cool. 